Uh, today's topic is use of Kapanji K wire in hand trauma. This is my favorite topic. And last 15 years I am doing this Kapanji K wire for a wrist and then I have developed this extended uh, indication for Kapanji K wire. So what are the inventory for the Kapanji K wire? The drill machine with a slow RPM, C arm, 1 to 1 1.2 mm K wire for phalanx and 2 mm for distant radius with short trocar tip. If you use a long trocar tip, it walk through in distal cortex. So short trocar tip, strong K wire cutter, stool to sit, folded sheet, and it doesn't require assistant. So what is the basically we do a modified kapanji. The modified kapanji where the K wire is inserted in the distal part is located far away from the edge of the proximal part. When fracture gets, uh, K wire tends to bend until it stops to by the edge of the proximal part where there is a collapse. So what is the biomechanics of Kapanji? Where we pass a K wire between the fracture uh, end of 2 mm, makes immediate abatement and prevents secondary collapse or dis the displacement of the distal phalanx. What is the method? So we pass, for, we first go in a radial side, take an incision, open the uh, uh, compartment, is, uh, isolate the superficial radial nerve, and then we pass a 90 degree K, uh, wire at the 90 degree. It pass up to the two third, and then we, from 90 to 45, we change the angle and we reduce the radial tilt. And same wise, if there's a dorsal displacement, we give same pattern, go dorsally, separate the tendon, and pass a K wire of two, m two millimeter, from center and then radial corner. Uh, anesthesia, nowadays we are doing in wide awake local anesthesia, no tourniquet, daycare procedure. Uh, this is a small surgical video of demonstrating the, this is the case of 50 year old female fall on outstretched hand, left side. This is the x-ray showing the treatment type six classification of this distant radius fracture. We do the surgery under block and surgeon sitting comfortably on the stool. We first uh, screen the uh, fracture under C arm in AP view. See the fracture site and lateral view. The first incision is in radial uh, incision on the fracture site. And we locate the fracture and we pass the K wire from the fracture site uh, horizontally. And then we bend it to the 45 angle and we reduce the radial tilt of the fracture and screen under the C-arm. Then we drill the far cortex. And far cortex drilling is confirmed under C-arm. Then we cut the K-wire. Then second incision is taken on the dorsal aspect. We mark the fracture site on the dorsal aspect of the radius. Then we mark the center column uh, access by k wire and we took an incision one centimeter and then we separate the extensor tendon and we reach the factory site and then we, once we isolate the factory site we pass the k wire okay. dorsally and then from 90 degree to 45 degree we correct the dorsal tilt and maintaining the 45 angle we pass the k wire with the help of Drill machine and we engage the zoomal cortex. AP view and this is lateral view. Okay. Then the third wire is passed from the uh, ulnar corner of the radius. Same uh, step is repeated. We pass the uh, K wire from the fracture side from 90 degree to 45 angle. Uh, we reduce the ulnar corner and maintaining the 45 angle, we drill the far cortex this is the x-ray picture lateral view actually is well reduced then we cut the wire flush to the bone by a k wire cutter and then we Bury this K wire in the skin incision. Bury. Then we cut the second K wire, same length, 
एंड देन थर्ड के वायर एंड देन वी बरी दिस के वायर जस्ट अंडर द स्किन टू प्रिवेंट द पिन ट्रैक इन्फेक्शन एंड देन वी टेक टूक थ्री स्विचेस दिस इज ड्रेसिंग दिस इज द डायनामिक सी एम इमेजेस शोइंग द लैटरल मोमेंट and if you see there is a no displacement dorsally even in ap view no displacement translation in radial direction this is a post op ap view and this is lateral view comparing the pre op view the k wire is removed after one month under local anesthesia and this is the movement immediately after the removing the k wire so this is the active flexion and extension after one and half month this is the full supination mm. and this is passive flex uh, extension and flexion of the wrist and this is one and half month post op x ray so the indication was you see distal radius now i have in extended my indication to pharyngeal head and base fracture bennett's fracture and a radial head fracture so case number 1 13 year uh, year old boy professional cricketer cricket ball injury if you see that there is a proximal phalanx head fracture of the thumb which is very difficult to close reduction and uh, put it into the uh, safe position so we did a kapanji k wire and augmented with the x fix there is no requirement of plaster and this is 3 months uh, result and this is his 6 month clinical pic uh, picture good good movement and he is now into the cricket another case 14 year old boy another professional cricketer cricket ball injury now this time it is middle phalanx head fracture same uh, kapanji k wire with the external fixator and c one year result is absolutely looking white good range of motion and good full range of motion and good healing of the fracture another case 14 year old boy student cricket ball injury if you see a condylar fracture with deviation so we did a kapanji k wire and we fixed the condyl also and after 6 month he has got a good range of motion and good healing and correction of deviation another case 38 year old male dentist by profession cricket ball injury again and this time he has got a base of the proximal phalanx difficult to treat because there is a extensor tendon and when we open it gets stiff so we decided to do a kapanji technique and again uh, external fixator and this is his 3 months follow up good healing of the fracture little finger case number 5 24 year old male for outstretched hand bends fracture to holding that fracture and putting a k wire is a very task so first you reduce that uh, uh, putting a in a joint and then you can fix the fragment very well this is 6 month uh, case number 6 another 18 year old teen for uh, fall with uh, outstretched hand dr uh, distended is fracture volarly but he has also got a avulsion tfcc injury so we did a volar kapanji we reduce the fracture and after one uh, one uh, half month he has got a good range of motion we also repaired the tfcc is another seventh case radial head fracture you said displaced angulated so we did a two technique one is kapanji and another is fushe by kapanji we reduce the fragment and then by, from the radial styloid we pass a 2k wire as a fushe so in conclusion it is a easy procedure very low implant cost minimal scar without need of or more invasive procedure elective technique is in treatment of unstable extra articular dorsally displaced fracture and in hybrid fixation so i always says that the imagination is more important than knowledge imagination is the language of soul pay attention to your imagination and you can discover all you need to be fulfilled thank you very much